Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of neon text effect in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let's clear this defaults and pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's add the text. So go to this add and select the text option here. Let's increase the scaling, press S and increase the scaling here. Now RX90 to rotate this. Now being selected this text, come to this data properties. Come to this alignment option and change it to center. So now let's edit the text itself. So press tab key for edit mode or else you can change this from here. Select this edit mode, backspace to delete the text. Now add your text. So once the text is added, now again press tab key to exit that mode. So here you can see we got the text, right? So if you want to change the font, we can do that. So come to this font options here. Click on this folder icon. We will get a folder opened with the fonts which are installed in our PC. So from here, I will select this font and open the font. Now you can see we got the font applied. So if you want to reduce the spacing between the words, you can do that. So for that, scroll down, come to the spacing options. Here I want to reduce the spacing between the words. So I will use the second option. So I will reduce the spacing here. If you want to reduce the spacing between the characters, use this option. So here you can see we can increase or decrease the spacing. So I will change this to one. So now this is looking good. Now scroll up and change this fill mode to none. So now we need to convert this one into curves. So go to this object being selected this object, go to this object options, convert, convert to curve. So now this is curve. So if you press tab key, you can see everything is curve here. Nice. So now come to this curve properties here, geometry, come to this depth value and I will add 0 0.005. Now we will get this circular tubes added onto the text. Nice. So now let's add material. So before adding material, let's move on to this render viewport here. So let's change the color to complete black. Now let's add material, come to this material properties, add new material, change the surface to emission and color. I will change this to orange and the strength. I will change this to 10. So now nothing seems to be happening. So come to this render settings, just enable this bloom option. Now you can see we got glow added to the text. Now let's add a background plane. So what is add mesh select a plane here, press S and increase the scaling. Now let's rotate this RX90. So here you can observe though our text is glowing, there is no reflection of that glow on the plane. So in order to get the reflections, we need to move to this cycles engine. Currently this is in EV, right? So in EV also we can achieve that. I will show you that later. So first if I change this to cycles and if I enable this GPU compute, you can see we are getting that reflections of light on the plane. So in EV we can get the same effect but it will be a manual process. So let me change this to EV. So first of all let's add some texture onto this background plane. So move on to this material viewport and here I will be using this blender kit to get the materials. So I will move on to this materials and I will search as wall here. So here you can see we got the materials right. So from here I will select this one. So here you can see we got that material applied. So it is not looking good. So press tab key for edit mode, press A to select all the faces, view, smart UV project and OK. Now this is looking good. If you want to still adjust the texturing, so move on to the shading tab and from here we can adjust. So here you can see we got the scale option, right? And let's change this to six and this one to six. So I think this is looking good and if you want to increase the normals, we can do that. So come to this normal value and let's increase the strength here. I think three will be fine. So now come to this layout, change this to render. And if I change this to cycles, we will have that glow visible on our background plane. So you can see we are getting that texture also. So let me show you how we can get the same effect in EV also. So let's change this to EV. So for that, go to this add light probe, select this irradiance volume. So we need to adjust it so that our text fits here correctly. So S, X and increase this here. Now S, Z and increase this here. Once this is done, come to this render settings, scroll down, come to this indirect lighting and bake indirect lighting. Just click on this and later, once this is done, we will get that reflections on here. So now you can see we are getting the reflections in EV also. But here if you want to change the light, so for suppose if I change the light color here, if I change this to white, you can see the reflections here still in orange. So again, we need to come to this bake options. We can delete this lighting, 
cache and we need to bake this once again so once this bake is done we will get that reflections here so in this tutorial i will use cycles only so i will delete this one and first of all let's see how we can add some flickering effect onto this lighting so for that select our text layer here come to this material options so beyond the first frame add a keyframe for the strength option so here we got a keyframe added now let's change this to graph editor so now come to this modifier options add modifier and add noise modifier so here i have increased the strength value to 5 so if i play this now so nothing seems to be happening so let's change some parameters so let's change the scale and also change the strength value like this so now if i play this now you can see we are getting that flickering effect let's change the color select the text and let's change this to orange so now we got that flickering effect also added on to this so in this way we can create this kind of neon text effects in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye